Welcome back to Science Rocks. We continue our STEM tour around Pinellas County. We're here at Douglas Jamerson Elementary, the engineering magnet school within Pinellas County. Douglas L. Jamerson grew up in St. Petersburg and was a political leader within the community as a member of the House of Representatives and was appointed Florida Commissioner of Education in 1993 and Secretary of the State Department of Labor. Jamerson passed away in 2001 at the age of 53, but his legacy lives on among the students here at the elementary school that bears his name. Walking the campus, you'll see the school's emphasis on engineering, like the police station, and biographies of famous scientists are displayed along the walkways. Lucas Hefty is the magnet coordinator at the school, and he shows us the hydroponic garden area that was built to celebrate the school's 10-year anniversary. This is a hydroponic and solar energy building. Hydroponic is run on a solar pump that was developed by one of our parent engineers. Um, our third graders look at solar energy and solar and sun standards and design solar cookers. So we also have some solar cooker samples so that they can study um, how color affects heat. Um, they can look at the hydroponic gardens and study hydroponic versus flatbed planting. Um, they can look at the study solar cells and then design solar cookers that are going to bake cookies and cook apples and hot dogs and things like that. And this was designed for your 10 year anniversary? It was and we had a parent who built, who painted the mural for us mm -hmm. and we put it all together to highlight Douglas Jamerson. We invited Mrs. Jamerson out and did a big ribbon cutting for a 10th anniversary celebration. That's great. And Lucas tells us why today is such a special day at this school. Today is our um, biannual engineering day and it's a showcase of student work so far in the school year. Um, specifically the engineering design challenges that they have completed as part of our specialized engineering curriculum. We have two STEM academies at your school and you're the facilitator for them and you're also helping with this day as well. What do you see as an overlap between what's happening in the STEM academies and what's happening during the school day? One of the benefits of the STEM academies is that the students become leaders at the school. And so our STEM academy students get to lead younger students and other students in some of the whole school design challenges that we complete on engineering day. What is your goal for this year's design challenge? Our whole school design challenge this year is the geodesic domes. And so our fifth graders and particularly our STEM Academy students get to lead the younger students in how to complete that design challenge, to assist them with it, to help them with some of the fine motor skills um, and the critical thinking and creative creativity skills that they might need to be successful with it. So next we walk over to the cafeteria where some fifth grade students are working on creating a geometric dome with kindergartners. And we find some of our STEM Academy students hard at work. Why did you decide to become a STEM Academy student? Well, I looked at the flyer and it looked pretty awesome. And I do like science and technology. Engineering is pretty awesome. And math, I can deal with. <laughs> We're trying to really have our STEM Academy students overlap with what they're learning during the school day. Are there any connections that you made between your STEM Academy learnings and what you learned during the school day? Mm -hmm. Well, in fourth grade, we did some things with the connects and, you know, in the actual STEM Academy classroom thing. Uh -huh. we, did, we did something with cars, which was similar to connects, but it wasn't you know, connects. <laughs> What skills did you gain during the STEM Academy last year that help you as a student and an individual? Well, I'm pretty, well, I've gotten better at the whole leadership thing, mm -hmm. and, I've, and I've also gotten better at re reading directions and, and doing things based off of them. Uh, you are a returning STEM Academy student. Why did you decide to come back for a second year? Well, I decided to come back for a second year at STEM Academy because, well, I like a, I would like to be an engineer when I grow up. So I was thinking, hmm, I could learn some stuff from here. And also I like um, building and uh, doing hands-on projects. For students that are interested in becoming a STEM Academy student, what advice would you give them? I would give them to always look at um, all the choices that you would have for a STEM school or an engineering school and also that never give up and if something doesn't succeed the first time you do it, try and try again. Chuck Parsons is an engineering coach at Jamerson 
and he tells us more about what the students learn in the engineering field. Some of the first things they do is they learn how to use an engineering journal so that they can keep track of the uh, things that they do in the classroom and then they learn our engineering design process so they learn how to find out what a problem is and then they talk about how to get solutions to it and then they design it and it starts in kindergarten where they make things as simple as a chair for Goldilocks to make sure that it's just right all the way up to the fifth graders who design uh, houses where they use what they know about electricity to throw switches and light an upper and a lower floor. Um, they use solar energy to power their electricity so that they can uh, uh, get an understanding of what it takes to put a project together from start to finish and uh, redesign if they have to. And seeing some of the classroom projects is impressive. Like Hour of Code project we offer at some of the STEM academies. And even the lesson I told you about earlier in the show, Saving Freddy, that teaches important lessons about conservation and using engineering tools. And even the Jammers, Jamerson's drumming ensemble has an engineer theme. So here's just another example of how students are learning STEM content within Pinellas County. I'm Laura Spence, and I'll see you next time.